We're just days away from the Iowa caucuses and Republican candidates have been crisscrossing the Hawkeye state. Donald Trump is expected to win, but there are two states that have removed him from the ballot and others are considering that as well. Is Pennsylvania one of them? Dennis Owen says the Commonwealth couldn't even if it wanted to, which it doesn't. We're going to make this country so successful again. I'm not going to have time for retribution. It's full steam ahead for former President Trump, who's pressing for Republican primary votes, except in Maine and Colorado, where for the moment... Trump engaged in insurrection and therefore cannot appear. He's been booted from the ballot. Could that happen here? We don't have any legal authority to remove anyone from the ballot. Here in Pennsylvania, if one's going to be removed from the ballot, it's going to be done by a court, period. Governor Shapiro says Trump can't be removed and adds he shouldn't. Be removed. My personal view on this is this election should be decided at the ballot box, not in the courts. Democratic U.S. Senator John Fetterman agrees. I don't believe that's helpful. I, I really I, I don't. We can put him away on the ballot and we will in Pennsylvania. I fundamentally believe that. I, I don't think it's helpful at this point to remove him from the, the ballot. Two of the state's top Democrats supporting Trump's ballot argument? Every political party likes easy, Dennis. And for Pennsylvania Democrats, national Democrats, Easy is beating the guy they've already beaten a couple times, which is Donald Trump. But Trump won PA in 2016. Some Republicans are sure he can win it again, which frightens those Democrats who say, keep him on the ballot. My biggest concern is that, of course, there's uh, d democracy is under a siege. I mean, that's a fact. Uh, and and uh, Donald Trump has been very clear, like uh, dictator from day one. The governor says he's certain it'll be a Biden-Trump rematch later this year. So are most political analysts, even if an overwhelming number of Americans, according to polls, would like to see them both removed from the ballot. Democrats and Republicans would both do their country and their party of service, I believe, if they turn to the next generation of leadership. Will it happen? Don't think so. In Harrisburg, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.